Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit differently. Of course, you are going to be getting some cleaning motivation, but I'm also going to be sharing some additional motivation throughout this video. So not only are you going to get motivated to clean your home and make it a place of peace for your family and yourself, but you are also going to be getting some cooking motivation where I'm going to be sharing a dump and go crock pot recipe as well as some motivation to get some food prep done. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. Just blown away downright My mind's indifferent to know what's wrong or right so the first thing on my list is to get everything cleared off my counters and that way I can jump into my dishes and get those all cleaned up. So usually this is our boys job to empty out the dishwasher every morning but we had a busy morning on this day and the boys just didn't really get around to this and then Kyle was home and he actually took them out to go get some things for our basement so I definitely didn't mind emptying out the dishwasher on this day since this is something they usually take care of. I did want to mention to you guys that I just passed my two years on YouTube. I can't believe it's been this long and at the same time I almost don't really remember life before YouTube. As many of you know, I started my channel as a hobby after I was coming out of postpartum depression and it quickly became so much more than that and I am so incredibly thankful for this journey and I'm so thankful that you guys have decided to come along with me on this journey. And so as a way to say thank you and to give back to you guys, I am going to be giving away one big prize to one lucky subscriber. There will be one winner and this giveaway is international. If you win this giveaway, you will have your choice of a Dyson vacuum, a $200 gift card, or a box of a ton of my favorite goodies. And I will have all the information on how to enter that giveaway down in the description box. But as usual, I am making this super, super easy to enter. Of course, you have to be a subscriber because this is giving back to my subscribers and the ones who have supported me all this time. And then just leave me a comment down below letting me know which of the three prizes you would pick if you win. And that's all you have to do to enter. You can also get a second entry and that would just be if you go over to Instagram and follow me over there and then comment on the giveaway post that I will have linked in the description box as well. That one is not mandatory. You can definitely win if you don't do that as well, but that will just give you one additional entry. So good luck to everyone and thank you again so much for coming along this journey with me.
sing to me, God got away. Keep the memories of our mistakes, we can never make it true. Our deception slips right through. What did I do? I must have been so careless. Progress too soon. So this is not really doing any food prep. I don't like to pre-wash our fruits that we get left out just because I feel like they usually go bad quicker if I do this and we will just wash those items right before we eat them. But what I will do is I will set them out on our table and I feel like it just encourages us to eat more fruits instead of like crackers or anything like that. And that way we have a lot better chance of grabbing something healthier to snack on. Once I had our dishes all cleaned, I just started wiping down our counters with my all-purpose eat cloth. This is one of my favorite things. I use it all the time. I do have a coupon code in the description box if you decide to order one for yourself, but they are incredible. You don't have to use any products, only water, and they also disinfect with just water, which is so convenient and really cool. I also was just wiping down our chairs, and I have to say I really am loving the white chairs. If you didn't see the video where I painted those, I will link that up above for you guys. I thought that I might end up wiping them down a lot more because they were white, but I found that they don't show a lot of like oils and things like that, and so I'm actually wiping them down a lot less now that they are painted. Once everything was put away and the surfaces were all clean, it was time to start making dinner. So I will have a recipe card pulled up for you guys so you can go ahead and screenshot that. So to make this recipe, you are just going to cut your onion and that's really the only prep that you have to do. Once you are done cutting your onion, you just add the chicken into the crock pot, dump your onion in, add your cans of tomato and your spices and your garlic and your oil and you are good to go. And then you can just cook it on high for three to four hours or on low for six hours. And then depending how you wanna serve it, you can just serve it alongside your favorite sides or you can also shred it up and put it on top of salad or pasta. So this is a really great gluten-free and dairy-free crock pot recipe if you guys are eating that way as well. I am currently eating dairy-free and gluten-free since I recently got diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid autoimmune disease. But of course you can make your own alterations to this recipe if you choose. Once dinner was started, it was time to get going on the food prep. So I just started by pulling all of our produce out that I had recently got on a big grocery haul or grocery shopping trip. And I set all of it out on our counter just so that I wouldn't forget about anything. Food prep is something that I used to do regularly and I've honestly gotten really lazy about it and I haven't done it that regularly recently. So it felt really good to take all of my produce out. I will usually do this the same day that I go grocery shopping and I will just devote about an hour to getting all of our food prepped out for the week. It makes such a difference. It will really decrease in your produce waste and it definitely encourages you to eat a lot healthier throughout the week. I know for my family, a lot of times we will go for the healthy foods like fruits and vegetables for snacks, but if they are not prepped out, then it's a lot more convenient to grab a bag of chips or some crackers or something that is less nutritious for you. So this way you're just devoting a little bit of time in the beginning for a lot of benefit and a lot of time saving in the end.
The first item that I'm going to be prepping is our grapes. This is something that seems like you don't really need to prep it, but honestly, just pulling all of them off the vine and pre-washing them and putting them in a bag makes it so much easier and it really makes the snack effortless. Another thing that we do with grapes sometimes whenever they go on sale and I stack up like this is I will put them in a big freezer bag and I will just stick them in the freezer and then you can pull them out and they are perfect to add into lunches. And then they also kind of taste like little popsicles. They're super, super delicious. If you have not tried that out before, I urge you to try it. It is so good. Next, I'm just going to be prepping out our carrots. I really do like getting whole carrots as opposed to baby carrots, even though they are a little bit less convenient. My whole family really prefers the flavor of whole carrots versus baby carrots, so that's the biggest reason we get them. And the more that you can get things in their most natural form, I feel like is the best. And one other thing that I like to do with carrots is I prefer to get them organic. They are really not much more expensive to get them organic, and then that way I'm just able to scrub them off and I don't feel like I need to peel them. It just takes one less step away, and that's definitely a win in my book. The next thing you'll see me do with almost all of our produce prep is to add a layer of paper towels at the bottom and the reason I do this is just because it really helps take away some of that moisture and that will really help prolong the life of your produce. You don't need a whole lot, just a sheet or two and it will just make the biggest difference. This next one is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just chopping up some washed English cucumbers. These are my favorite cucumbers and one of my favorite snacks. I've mentioned this in a lot of my grocery hauls, but one of my favorite ways to eat this, if not my favorite way, is to actually dip the cucumbers in buffalo sauce. It's such a delicious snack, super easy and super guilt-free.
One thing that I love doing is when I go to the grocery store, I like to shop what's on sale. That usually will mean that item is in season and that's usually why it's on sale, which I feel like you are going to get the most nutrients when you shop in season and you're also going to be getting the best prices and the best bang for your buck. Right now, a ton of berries are still in season and that is one of my favorite things about summer is just all the fresh fruit and a ton of berries for a really affordable price. I always miss this when fall comes around because all of a sudden like you just get a lot of apples, which is great, but you kind of start to see those berry prices slipping up. But during the summer, we love having fresh berries around. Another thing to think about when you are doing your food prep or your produce prep is to not only prep things that you are going to be snacking on, but also prep a little extra and that way you have really great meal starters. So for example, we will definitely snack on these peppers, but we are also going to be cooking with the peppers and so I wanted to cut a few extras right away and that way when I know like I'm making fajitas later this week, I don't have to cut up the peppers, I can just grab them and toss them in the pan and it's one less thing that I have to do on a busy night. It just saves a few extra minutes and those extra minutes are definitely a lot more useful later on in the week when it's really busy on a school night or something versus when I have everything already out and I don't really have to spend a whole lot of extra time doing it. I know that the night has just started. Get up, don't be bothered. Get out and find some things to do. Another thing that I love is just getting these broccoli florets that are already pre-chopped. Sometimes I feel like they are just as good of a deal as getting a whole head of broccoli just because you're not wasting all that stem. And the reason that I like to take them out of the bag and put them in my own container is just it's a lot easier to go ahead and get them out of our container versus getting them out of a bag and then having to put the bag back together. It also keeps them a little fresher this way. And then also, even though they come pre-washed in the bag, I just like to wash them one more time myself. And so for those reasons, I just find it beneficial to still put it in a food prep container. Rather be blue than lighthearted. Won't break, just be smarter. Whatever to get back from you. I know that the night has just started. Get up, don't be bothered. Get out and find some things to do. Oh. That is everything. This really took me less than an hour to get all of this done and I got so much food prepped out for the week. This is going to save me on busy weeknights when school is starting this week. It's also already saved me so much on just snacking. I feel like only half of this is left already. It's just really encouraged the entire family to eat healthier because instead of grabbing something unhealthy, we can just as easily go in the fridge grab a few pieces of carrots or broccoli or whatever the case is, or a few strawberries and sit down and have a healthy snack that you don't have to feel guilty about later. But you also didn't have to do any extra work for in the moment that you wanted that yeah, snack. We won't ever get enough. They don't know, they don't know. In your eyes I put my trust. Baby, you're my all time favorite drug. Let them come.
keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know So I know this video was a little bit different than my traditional clean with me videos that I always share, but I hope that you really enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys would like to see this style video again. Let me know if this motivated you to go into your kitchen and food prep for the rest of the week. I feel like it just makes the biggest difference when you're able to put in a few extra minutes in the beginning and then you just get to enjoy eating healthier throughout the rest of the week without having to take a whole lot of time later on. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. I like to share a lot of behind the scenes over there and just some personal life. So definitely go follow me over there and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.